The road has been long. Through time, Paratech has worked tirelessly to always keep innovating and making the best tools to save lives. Now, on the cusp of a new era, we are entering the future of rescue. Before facing the future, you should know the past. Let's go back. The real start to Paratech was the saw. Partners Robert Banker and Howard Leibovitz discovered the Swedish chainsaw that they thought would be effective for the fire service, and that proved to be correct. And that took off in all over the United States. It had to have special blades. Howie Leibovitz, he invented a negative pitch that nobody else could replicate, so we began making those ourselves. That's what gave us the manufacturing core to Paratech. We had this capability, and now we wanted to fulfill it with new products, new ideas. It all started back in 1962. Our first ever tool was the Pryax. The Pryax was uh, developed by a battalion chief in New York City Fire Department. He had what he thought was a prototype for somebody to make it for him. This was while I was in the Army. My two partners, Howie and Bob, agreed that they'd like to try it. The first run was 2,000 units. When I got out of the Army in 1965, my first task was to get rid of these damn Pryaxes because they're costing us a fortune sitting here. Little by little, they gained recognition and we started building in improvements to the tool. And each time we made a release of forgings, we tried to incorporate features into the tool that would make it better. Every change in the tool was an improvement. The tool that started it all over 50 years of continuous production and continuous improvements. World famous Pryax. From one innovation to another, Meet the hooligan tool. The fire departments had very limited choices. Some fire departments were doing forcible entry with a crowbar that they got at the Ace Hardware store. So when, they, when they'd see this quick and decisive forcible entry tool, that was a fairly quick success. And we did send thousands of them. We used to weld them, but the weld wasn't as good because it was damaging the structure of the material. So we pressed this. The first three-piece production Halligan tool and the first to improve upon the original Chief Halligan design. I designed new claw and new head, so it's more practical. Claw is more sleek, but it's bent more, and it has a nail pulling feature. The head, it had two wings, like on the side of the pike. When you hit it in a metal leg in a car, you could twist and you open up the hole, so it become a completely different tool. And the hooligan tool has a major place now in fire departments. Recognizing the need for new, innovative firefighting tools, the Beal tool. Howie wanted to design this very small personal tool. Spell it backwards, it's Leib. Leib, Leibovich. That's what he wanted, so I had to do that. <laughs> he wanted to have a Beal tool. And that's the name. A few years ago, I redesigned that again. It's cast out of stainless. It's very strong, stronger than steel. It's like 180,000 PSI. All we do is put rubber handle on it. We just press it together, so this is like indestructible. The smallest, most portable axe in a fireman's arsenal. Designed by Paratech's founder, Howard Leibovitz, to ensure that even officers have a tool they can carry without restricting personal mobility. Something completely new, the PRT. 
philosophy idea behind it. It's the economy of scale and it's safety because up until that time to get percussive force, you're swinging a sledgehammer and you take a back swing and it's dangerous. You're able to direct all the force. There's no deflection. I wanted to make it lighter and more modern. I developed one with the aluminum housing, so it was lighter, it was more efficient, and there was a special lock that when you turn, you can lock it in a different positions. All of the force that is being expended is directed at the point of the tool. The ultimate disaster preparedness tool. No strings attached. Safely direct optimum impact exactly where you want it. New problems require new tools. Titan Crash Axe. The lightest, most advanced personal rescue axe. Designed with and for the pararescuemen, the PJs, U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command. This was the first product I worked on. Some members of the, the Air Force pararescue guys had bought, um, had purchased one of our Beal tools and they had tested it without us knowing about it. And they said, hey, we really like this product. Here's the thing, we need the whole thing to be under two and a half pounds because everything that goes up in an airplane, the weight matters a lot. That's why you never drive to titanium. Like we started that project with full-size pencil sketches to clay models, to 3D models, to th like, man, I had, a, I had a whole Tupperware container full of 3D prints of just tweaking things and changing things, and the whole thing is skeletonized, kind of trellised out so that provide a, a really strong grip with gloves and gets the whole thing under that two and a half pound limit. Engineered to be as light, strong, and customizable as possible, the only X of its kind. Having refined our manufacturing and engineering expertise, we move to revolutionize another plane of rescue. Our road continues. The future of rescue still awaits. Come along next time when we uncover how Paratech made a yellow X mean the safest rescue. I went to work and I say, Howie, why did you hire me? And he said, because you're crazy. <laughs> I like guns. <laughs>